Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture on pneumonia. In our last class, we have completed about the lobar pneumonia, bronchial pneumonia, and also interstitial pneumonia, and also the organisms which are causing the particular types of pneumonia. Let us now learn about the other types of pneumonias. So, one of the most important types of pneumonia which I would like to discuss is pneumocystis carinae. Pneumocystis carinae pneumonia. So, as the name says, it is caused by the organism which is pneumocystis carinae. It mainly it is mainly seen in immunosuppressed individuals. So, immunosuppressed individuals include uh, either it can be a HIV. Uh, I mean, pa patients suffering from HIV or it can be organ transplants or the patients who are having some tumors or cancers or malnourished patients or A gamma globulinemia. So, in any of the conditions, there can be pneumocystis, geru sorry, pneumocystis carnae infection. So, this pneumocystis carnae infection, it has similar to, uh, if you see, it has similar to interstitial pneumonia. So, it mostly... The pneumonia which it affects is similar to the interstitial pneumonia. There is um, interstitial pneumonitis and also thickened alveolar walls. Okay, the alveolar walls which are there. So, all the alveolar walls are thickened. Thickened alveolar walls and interstitial pneumonia. Okay, so this is the main major microscopic picture which we see in pneumocystis gerubasi. Sorry, pneumocystis carnai. Now, and it, there is one more thing. It also has alveolar infiltrate sometimes. And in the alveoli, it mostly presents with pink frothy fluid in the alveoli. Can be seen. The alveoli, lumen, it, it may contain pink frothy fluid. Okay. So, it has both interstitial and alveolar pneumonia, but mostly interstitial pneumonia. So, how are you going to the cl clinical features? The clinical features are similar. It has dry cough, uh, it has fever, there is less expectoration, the person may have dyspnea. So, normal clinical features are seen. And uh, uh, how are you going to diagnose it? Diagnosis, there is a special stain which is uh, specific for pneumocystis carnai that is gomori mitanamine silver stain. So, this is the most important stain which is specific for pneumocystis carnai. So, that is gomori mitanamine silver stain. Okay, so in gomori mitanamine silver stain, these uh, uh, organisms uh, look like so in this normally these look like tiny black black dots these look like small tiny black dots and in the center there can be concentric cysts there will be something like this in the center there can be concentric cysts and in the surrounded by tiny black dot like tropozoids here there can be crescent shaped oval or crescent shaped cysts these are oval or crescent shaped cysts cysts of this pneumocystis carnai and these cysts are surrounded by trophozoids which are black dot like okay so this is how you see in Nemocystis carnai. Okay. So, uh, this is what we see in Nemocystis carnai. And how are you going to do the, the next one? You can do chest x ray. Chest x ray can be done. But chest x ray is normal in early stages. And only in advanced stages you see ground glass appearance. Or else it is mostly normal. Okay, only in advanced stages you see ground glass appearance or else it is normal. And how are you going to confirm it? Okay, there are many, uh, even if you uh, get the, if you are not able to get the sputum and then you, you cannot, you, 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 it's not, it is difficult to stain it. So, how are you going to confirm it? The confirmation is by, you'll have to do a fiber optic bronchoscopy 
and with the help of fiber optic bronchoscopy you will have to take a bronco alveolar lavage okay and in this alveolar lavage you will have to see the organisms and if there are organisms are positive then you can think it is nemocystis carnii okay so this